The House will come to order. Prayer by the chaplain. Let us pray. Father, I thank you for every person in this chamber and for the honor to work with each one of them, both members and staff. I thank you for those who are outside of these, this chamber who are working so hard for us as well, Lord. I thank you for the opportunity to serve in this government in a place where we can agree and we can disagree. We can agree very passionately and we can disagree very passionately and yet come together and do some amazing work. So Father, I just give this time to you and uh, pray that we, as we work together, we will do our best to serve Minnesotans as I know each one of us wants to do here. I ask that in your name, amen. The chaplain for today is Representative Peggy Bennett from District 27A, Albert Lee, Minnesota. Please remain standing and recite the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. The clerk will take the roll. The clerk will close the roll. A quorum is present and pursuant to Minnesota Statutes 2016, section 3.073, I declare the House organized for this special session. A copy of the proclamation from the governor is on each member's desk. Representative Pepin offers the following motion. That the chief clerk will read the motion. Pepin moves that the chief clerk be and is hereby instructed to inform the Senate and the governor by message that the House of Representatives is now duly organized pursuant to law for this special session. I recognize the member from Hennepin, Representative Pepin. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. As the Chief Clerk said, this motion instructs the Chief Clerk to inform the Senate and Governor that the House is duly organized for special session, and I appreciate your support. Any discussion on the Pepin motion? Seeing no discussion, all those in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Those opposed, no. The motion prevails. I recognize the member from Hennepin, Representative Pepin. Thank you, Mr. Speaker and members. I move a recess to the call of the chair. Republicans, we will meet in our caucus room immediately following recess. Representative Pepin moves a recess. I apologize, Representative uh, Hortman. Um, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, DFL members, uh, following the recess, 
my understanding, Majority Leader Pepin, is that we will not need to reappear, but when we come back from the recess, we will set the time for uh, reconvening for tomorrow. And um, DFL members, as soon as we go into recess, we'll go in our caucus room and finish our caucus. Representative Pepin moves a recess to the call of the chair. All those in favor say aye. aye. All those opposed, no. The motion prevails, and the House stands in recess to the call of the chair.